Hey guys, I'm Cheryl and I'm here to bring you on a tour to rediscover the neighbourhood of Chiang Baru. Okay, so do you know the opening film of last year's SGIFF, Chiang Baru Social Club, was actually shot here in Chiang Baru. And the reason why I chose this place is because when Roy and I were dating, we used to frequent Chiang Baru a bit more often for, because it's known for its you know, hipster cafes, its nooks and corners, and I like its uh, mix of old and new. This dancing girl statue was commissioned for St. Paul Gardens in 1972. And what's interesting is that this sculptor is the same sculptor that did the Merlion. Mercy Marcel was opened in 2017 and it paid homage to its Chiang Baru neighbourhood by keeping its exposed bricks, its exposed grills, so it's got a really nice rustic vibe to it. And at the same time, it's a Parisian cafe with French fare. My favourite dish here is this ravioli de Royan. I know it looks very cheesy, I'm not a very, very cheesy person, but trust me, you'll want to come back more for this. Okay, what's special is this cheese that they use here is this Cape de Mon. And it's a Swiss cheese that uses a carving knife. Only a carving knife can, you know, you can get the cheese out. And what it does, it actually brings out the flavour of the cheese. And of course, you have to end every meal with dessert. So what they are famous here for is the chocolate cake. I have a soft spot for anything sweet and especially Nonya Kueh. So we're here at Galicia Pastry, which has been here since the 1970s. And they are now owned by fourth generation owners. So they have a variety of things from cakes, bakes, squares, cookies and I really wish you could smell what they like inside because it smells so fresh. Okay, let's go! One kueh lapis, one kueh salad, one lumpel ayam. I knew of Galicia Pastry because a friend of mine who used to work here, he ate the kueh dada for lunch every single day. So I was wondering what's so nice about this kueh dada. But it's actually really very special because the filling inside is not the usual brown gula malata but it's white in colour. So Woods in the Books is an independent bookstore and they have a ton of children's books and illustrations. I wasn't a reader in the family, my sister was. But you know, over the past few years, I've come to enjoy reading and I want to instill this with my kids. And what I think is great about reading is that it sparks imagination and in the world of books, anything can happen. Yong Tau Fu opened in 1989 and they make the Yong Tau Fu fresh daily. So how I got to know of this place is because after we got married, Roy's date um, shifted from being with me to being with my dad. And this was their weekly date place after their morning cycle. My go-to order here is always the Yong Tau Fu soup. If I want to eat noodles, it's always dry bihun on the side and then I'll add the chilli. But for today, I'll think I'll just have the Yong Tau Fu soup because it's a whole lot already. We're now in a floral studio called Wonderland Botanicals that's housed within Nana and Bird. It's a very quiet and therapeutic space that I'm really happy to be in, you know, because with all the hustle and bustle outside, right? Here it's just like a little haven. And Wonderland Botanicals, they actually have a floral subscription whereby they send flowers and the vase to, to you weekly. So you don't have to keep like vases and you don't have to worry about going to buy flowers but they send it to you. So with me today is the creative head of Wonderland Botanicals, Melissa. Hi, thank Hi. you for coming. Thank you. So what are we going to be doing today? So this is one of the vases from our subscription service and um, it's in a range called the Garden Picks. Um, we're going to do a very simple casual floor arrangement today okay. and okay, we'll go straight together. Yeah. So the flowers that you send to people, the kind of arrangements are more of like a casual, natural arrangement? Yeah, so we within the subscription range, we have different styles to suit different types of homes. I think the unique thing is that we have an inventory of vases and we'll change the vase on a weekly basis so that the customer doesn't need to acquire the vases. So Melissa, I heard that you host uh, workshops here too. Yes, uh, we do the workshops in the floral studio in Tiong Bahru and uh, we can hold uh, for a group of five. So. We had, have had workshops for four friends and it's been a blast really over Christmas. Um, we will start holding workshops uh, at the end of February and onwards. Okay, and so I will sign up for them. I will look forward to that. Okay, <laughs> thank you so much for coming thank today. You. Thank you for taking this tour of Tiong Baru with me. Hope to see you soon. <laughs>